Cup of tea, darling? Wake up, it's me. It's not, it can't be. Look, you just drink your tea. I'll clean the place up while breakfast's cooking. Your what? Oh, what a beautiful morning. He's flipped. Oh, what a beautiful morning. Oh, my God. <laughs> Five minutes on the dock. What game are you playing? I'm eating an egg. <laughs> well, Stanley, everything you've done since getting up has been out of character, including getting up. Out of character? You've hit it. What do you mean? Do you remember what we were talking about last night, Lena? Yes, you as usual. And do you remember what you said about me? My word, a masterly job. A complete rundown on my character. I thought you were asleep. It was only for my own amusement. You're not all bad. Yes, I am. No! No, don't backtrack now, Lena. You ruin everything. Once or twice in a lifetime, you reach the crossroads and you say to yourself, I can carry on in this direction or I can change direction. The decision is mine. Well, if nothing else, I've got a cup of tea in bed out of it. Uh, I understand your cynicism. No one believes in willpower nowadays. I mean, look at yourself. Paying good money to go to a shrink when all you need is the effort to lift yourself out of yourself to say, Lena, I will, I will. Stanley! Look, why should I be at the mercy of my character? I didn't pick it. Why should I put up with it? Who's in charge in here? Me or... me? <laughs> that kind of thinking leads straight to schizophrenia. There's only one you, you know. Thank God. Well, who is it in here who doesn't like me? Look, all I ask is to be a decent human being. Is that asking too much? Mm. Oh, well, we'll see. We'll see. <laughs> this is the big breakout. I refuse to accept the deterministic view of human nature. Je refuse. That's your privilege, just, uh... Take it slowly, because it's going to be a long, hard haul. Don't worry about me, baby. I can take care of myself. I'll leave you to it, then. And, uh, thank you for the tea, darling. I did appreciate it. And the breakfast. Cleaning up. Yeah, nothing to it. It's amazing what you can get through with a bit of efficiency. Oh, uh... By the way, did you find my earring? Yep. Earring. Came off in the scuffle last night. You remember, somewhere by the sofa. I was... Going to look for it myself this morning, but um, since you've hoovered round, <laughs> you'd have heard it tinkle up the tube. <laughs> you did. As you know, it was my mother's. It's gold, Stanley. I'll see you tonight, then. You're off on your gardening job, are you? Not a job, Lena. A partnership. All part of the new me. Well, don't overdo it at first, will you? Your muscles will have to get used to movement. <laughs> I'll do the late back. I may have something in the oven. Oh, that'd be nice. Is there a password? What? Uh, just in case I don't recognise the new you when I get back. <laughs> Jokey, darling. Who's my funny bunny then? Hmm? Oh, don't be infantile, Stanley. I must go. Oh, by the way, can you spare me the price of a pair of wellies? Um... Oh, my God. Didn't she ever empty it? <laughs> <laughs> so you want to do it the hard way, huh? <laughs> uh, excuse me, may I have a word with Mr. Paisley? You look a bit lopsided, you know. I beg your pardon. Stick note here and stick note there. <laughs> I have to take me secretaries to you. Oh, Mr. Paisley. Oh, good morning, my dear. Oh, he's not coming. Who? Stanley. Isn't he? Isn't that what you've come to tell me? Well, he's not that unreliable not to turn up the first day. Isn't he? Well, he is, but not today. Oh, he's not coming in today. He is coming in today. Good, because we've got a job on this morning. Well, thanks for telling me. I haven't told you anything yet. Oh. <laughs> no, actually, I just thought I'd drop in on my way to the station mm -hmm. to, um, um... Catch a train? <laughs> You're not making it very easy for me, are you? No. I, um... Speak freely, my dear. It's between us two and the plants. And him. He counts with the plants. <laughs> It, it, it's just that Stanley is undergoing an identity crisis. 
I thought you should know. He doesn't know who he is. I should think that's an advantage. No, he thinks he knows who he is, but he's got the wrong man. Oh. Later today, he'll discover his mistake, and it may be rather a disappointment for him. He'll need support. You understand? Bean poles? <laughs> Moral support. What do you want me to do? There's nothing any of us can do, really, is there? I just thought I'd prepare you. Oh, don't tell Stanley I was in. He'll think I'm mothering him. And he hated his mother. Good morning. <laughs> Got you, you little tinker. Who's a naughty earring, then? <laughs> Ooh. Fifteen hours till bedtime. <laughs> <laughs> uh, none of that. Back to work. Ah! <laughs> Come out, you little devil. Listen, we got you surrounded. <laughs> you don't come out with your hands up or coming in with the tear gas. <laughs> ah. Here's a result that's just come in. World of inanimate objects, ten. Homo sapiens, nil. <laughs> Hello, Joe Beer. Is that you, God? Well, don't muck about, Sandy. I've been hanging about waiting for you. You're supposed to be doing that lady's garden. Shall I put George on it? No, no, I'll be round in five minutes. Yeah, yeah, five minutes. start. Can you drive? Pack a maniac. I'll drive. Look at that home. People take no pride in their work nowadays. <laughs> civilization's barking up the wrong tree, huh? Really? Yeah, there's a premium on strength of character. What is character? By defining the kind of person that you are, it defines all the kind of persons that you're not. So you're locked inside this character structure like a bird in a cage, cut off from a whole world of possibilities. No, I put my money on polymorphous perversity. What race is that? The human race, Dingley. But I'm breaking through. I'm soaring through the bars. I shall break free of my character by sheer strength of will. I shall soar in the thin fight of the dizzy of prospect. I might try getting in on time for the start. I was up at half six this morning. So what made you late? He put his spoke in. Who? I threw the gauntlet up to heaven and he tossed it right back in my face. But I'm not beaten yet. He didn't toss you down a pair of gumboots while he was asking. I didn't have time to buy him, did I? I didn't want to be late first morning. Just live life as it comes, Stanley. Accept yourself for what you are. <laughs> If I did that, I'd never get out of bed. <laughs> and another thing is, I'm accident prone. <laughs> mankind had decided to accept itself for what it was, we'd still be living in trees. And that wouldn't be funny, not with Dutch elm disease. <laughs> You'll find the tools in the shed there. It's a battle, Dingley. What sets man apart from all the rest is his will. The will to transcend nature, to achieve the impossible. What's to be done? Somewhere under that lot is a garden. Your mission is to find it. Is that impossible enough for you? It'll do for starters. Man against nature. Consciousness against chaos. I see this garden as a symbol. You can tell a week, can you? Tell it what? <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, I see, yes. <laughs> yeah, well, they're the ones with the smug looks. <laughs> <laughs> 
I'll soon wipe the grins off the faces. You won't know this garden by this afternoon. Mother Nature, your time's up. <laughs> Perhaps I should have given him more support. But I'm the one who needs support. I have to live with him. He only has to live with me. On the other hand... Hang on, dear. How soon have you out of there? <laughs> <laughs> Mrs. Livingston, I presume. <laughs> the essence of beauty. It's all there. Man's highest endeavour. The art which transcends physical reality lost amid the rank outgrowth of brute nature. Or, oh, look at it another way. If woman symbolises nature, then man is the creator, carving beauty out of the formless mess. Little did that chunk of rock know that it carried a Venus inside it. Needed a man to hack it out. Likewise with woman. What are they till we get our hands on them? Would you care for a cup of coffee? <laughs> oh, hello. You've been working very hard. I uh, watched you from the bedroom window. Did you know? <laughs> yes. Would you? But I what? <laughs> oh, uh, no, no, no. Uh, it's very kind of you, but I uh, must battle on. <laughs> Thank you very much. As you like. <laughs> Big garden. It's um, got a bit out of hand, I'm afraid. You need a man around the place. Mm, I've got one now, haven't I? <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, yes. yes. Well, the offer still holds if you feel like. Feel like it? <laughs> I shouldn't ever do it. I'll work and no play. Hang on. I'll be right back. had a deprived childhood. My father was a mindless brute. I say that without malice, and to give him credit, he, he wouldn't let them take Mother away, even after she started lighting fires in the cupboards. <laughs> I'd never known love, you see. Not real love. But then who'd want to love me? <laughs> Except perhaps the tortoise. <laughs> yes, I think my tortoise loved me. My father smashed it with a hammer. <laughs> yeah. George, what's this? It says urgent. Uh, it's Theresa. Mm, Hamlet. 
Is Apple, is it? <laughs> Where's that lady's number? Uh... A lot of jealousy in the acting profession. They don't like real talent. And being heterosexual doesn't help. <laughs> and I'm very heterosexual. Because <laughs> that's why I took on this partnership, to, to help Dingley out and... We well, needed someone with energy and flair to make a go of the business. <laughs> Telephone? Yes. <laughs> Aren't you going to answer it? No. Oh. It's probably my husband. <laughs> husband? Ex-husband. He has Wednesday afternoons off and he often gets drunk over lunch and uh, rings me up. Bit of a swine, is he? Only when he's drunk. <laughs> Nice little wine. <laughs> Supermarket Spanish. Nobody in. We'll have to go around there. There's going to be nothing but trouble, that bloke. Now, George, I know you don't like it's it. It's not it's a question of me. It's, it's a plot. He frightens them. <laughs> you watch them when he comes near them. George, look after the shop. Always been a worker. Thrive on it. I feel one ought to make some contribution to, well, life. Put something back in the kitty. <laughs> Not that I've had a lot out of the kitty. <laughs> Doorbell. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but you're not going to answer it. No. <laughs> did anyone ever tell you what beautiful eyes you have? He did. <laughs> Who? My ex-husband, that's probably him at the front door. Some people never know when it's over, do they? <laughs> <laughs> then he'll try the back door. What sort of a person is he? Six foot four. <laughs> One feels so alone, so damnably alone. <laughs> Diana? Yes? Do you think we might, um... Do you think we could possibly, uh... I thought you'd never ask. <laughs> <laughs> Something wrong. Call it post-coital tristesse, not to worry. <laughs> Did 
Didn't you like it? Do you ever ask yourself what we're doing on this planet? No, not really. I mean, we didn't have much choice, did we? As to planet, I mean. Choice? Huh. Round and round we go, spinning eternally on the same axis. La Ronde. Does it always affect you like this? <laughs> Listen, I'm going to be perfectly honest with you. What on earth for? The fact is, I have a psychological need to make it with women. The Don Juan syndrome. I'm programmed that way. You could have been anyone. You were. Then I put on an act. False, all false acting, bits of old plays. I've run through my repertoire. Even when I mean it, I act it. I'm acting now. I can't stop. I'm not trying to excuse myself. Yes, I am. It's despicable. So now you know. I don't know what all the fuss is about. I didn't take you seriously. <laughs> you didn't? No, I just fancied you, so that's all right, isn't it? Um. <laughs> you mean you left him on his own? In his state? He was going great guns when I left him. He was going to change the world. He started with our sitting room. He's been tearing the furniture to pieces. We must go to him. Here we go again. George, look out for the shop. I should never have said what I said last night. What was that? I told him the truth about himself. Oh, that was going into bed. You, uh, you don't mind my asking, but why do you live with him? I love him. And anyway, what would he do without me? Anyway, he's not a bad lover. I don't know what she'd do without me, you see. She runs through psychiatrists like I run through socks. <laughs> and the closest thing she has to emotional roots, poor child. I should be with her. You better put your trousers on first. Oh, my God! What's the matter now? I just remembered how I left the place. Oh, not that she'll notice. She's a bit of a slut. <laughs> <laughs> she never empties the dust bag. Oh, my God, look at that garden. Whatever happened to my good intentions? Why don't you tell yourself you spent the day making a lonely woman happy? <laughs> That's true, of course. <laughs> <laughs> and you can come and do it again. What? The garden. <laughs> right, um, same time next week? Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing. I thought I heard a cuckoo. <laughs> ah! <laughs> what is it? They're here. You see me. If they ring the bell, don't answer. They're not likely to. Perhaps he's in the house. Hmm? Oh, no, no, no. Uh, they're in South America. South America? Mm, up the Amazon. They're uh, botanists. With a garden like this? Uh, uh, they're weed botanists. <laughs> where's Stanley? Oh, <laughs> the other job! What? Mm, there's a, another job I'd forgotten. He's probably at the other job. Then let's go to the other uh, job. Uh, no. Uh, he'll be back by now. They lock up at six. Uh, come on, I'll buy you a drink. <coughs> I hate deception. Really, I rather like it. I think I should tell her the truth. I should say, Lena, this is me. This is how I am. I'm stuck like this. Take me or leave me. Come here. Bend down. You're welcome any time within reason, as long as you don't talk too much. There's a lot needs doing, you know, to the garden. <laughs> yes. You can let yourself out, can't you? Oh, right. Um, Diana. Yes? Do you think you could pay a little on account? <laughs> <laughs> on account of what? The garden. Ah, but you haven't done it. Well, we've been busy, haven't I? <laughs> Don't you think you ought to be paying me? I mean, you could say I provided a service. Oh, I'm sorry. Am I shocking you? No, no, no. no. Well, let's not talk about money anymore. You can carry on doing the garden and so on, and we'll call it quits. 
Shall we? Wait, what have they done to you? Come in, Mary. I'll put you to bed. See you there. Like a drink? I'll have a scotch. Have a scotch. A large one. There was a message for you. Yeah, I know. Well, missed it, didn't I? Pity. Yeah. Well, golden opportunity comes, I miss it. You'd like to play Hamlet? No, I wasn't supposed to play it. I was supposed to smoke it. <laughs> <laughs> it's commercial. A lot of money there, and a free cigar. Yep. Gun boot money. Did you, uh... I brought your lady back here, Stanley, and fed her a few drinks. She seemed very worried about you. She said you'd had a brainstorm and smashed the flat up. Did you, uh... I made a moving plea for tolerance. I asked her to try to imagine what it must be like to be Stanley Partridge. <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> Did you let on? I covered her. Ah. Don't thank me. No, it's the deception. I was wondering whether to be honest with her. Tell her the truth. If you do that, you'll make me out a liar. Oh, well, I'll keep quiet then, for your sake. <laughs> A word of advice, Stanley. Turning over a new leaf can be a great weapon, but there's a lot to be said for gradualness. Ah, you mean I should get her to believe my lies before I start telling her the truth? Well, I didn't quite mean that. I was thinking of taking her out for a meal tonight. Save her cooking. Be a nice gesture. <laughs> Why not? Why not is that uh, I don't think the rest of my gumboot money will stretch to it. Stanley, you're supposed to be working off the money you couldn't put into the partnership. I'm not supposed to be paying you for work you haven't even done. Oh, you mean Diana's garden? Diana, is it? Oh, don't worry about that. I'm going round there next Wednesday. It's all tied up. Oh, what do you mean by tied up? Well, we've reached a sort of arrangement. <laughs> <laughs> you mean you, we're doing it on a regular basis? Well, that's good. Uh, did you go for a price? <laughs> oh, well, uh, I have to talk to you about that, Dingley. You see, it's like this. Would you like another drink? <laughs> 